if you are watching me right now guess what you made it to 2024 happy new year fam we are officially into the new year forget about the successes and failures of the past year look ahead look forward forget about the nottingham forest stress man united fan look into the future under sir jim radcliffe welcome aboard and here we are to look at the first work the first piece of work that sir jim radcliffe has got to do that's cleaning this squad the cleanup is starting and here are the five players who could be leaving by the end of the summer welcome to the united hotspot my name is web i woke up feeling a little corporate today and i'm not, i'm like you know why not you know remind myself of the old times and yeah i hope we're good let's get into it now the first first player that i think sir jim ratcliffe will be assessing when he settles down into Manchester United and the work is already happening. We just told you that Sir Dave Brailsford was at Carrington meeting staff. So this is the first piece of work. If you're in charge of football, trim the squad. The first thing Sir Jim and his team are doing is to trim the squad. And by trimming, you're trimming the numbers. You're also trimming the, the, the wages, the money spent on the players. And then you're reducing everything to a manageable capacity because right now what we have is not manageable perhaps it's part of the reason why man reason why managers struggle with players because these young players are on big wages so that's the first piece of work so for me the first player i think they will be looking at is Antone dos santos Antone dos santos has failed to give us value for money it's clear i think it's no attack on him he sees it so his current contract runs out. He signed a five-year contract when he joined in 2022. So his current contract runs out in 2027. We may not exactly get rid of him completely now. He's only 23. You don't, don't want to write off a young player. But we can loan him out some, some, or somewhere. So, uh, and, and also try to, to create space for maybe new talent that could come in. Maybe that, that, uh, that might not be an immediate. Or even sell him if there is someone interesting and, interested and, you know, is willing to give you serious money so Antone is one of those the other player that uh, Sir Jim and his team will be looking at, at uh, is uh, Scott McTominay Scott has been a favorite for Eric Ten Hag just like Antony maybe because he has got he's a United boy he has got the heart of the club because he's from the academy but the reality is his levels are not consistently up there Scott McTominay is not world class. We want to build a world class team. Scott McTominay, with all our players fit, in all honesty, would struggle to warrant a regular start. Yet, he's at a level, he's just been named the Scottish best player of the year. He's at the level where he should be starting. So instead of him being on the bench at United, he would rather move on to a club, a West Ham, where he could even be captain. So for me, I think the best thing for Scott McTominay and his personal career actually he's only 26 is to leave manchester united and go and start life in another club he will be a big marquee player in another club like west ham or everton or some of those clubs a little below even spurs and i'm sure some of the several of them would want him if we let go we let go of him now and we could make some money off him so scott mctominy is the uh, other uh, other player that uh Sajim and his team who will be looking into the other player is uh, Rafael Varen. Now we know that Rafael Varen uh, has uh, has been ho has been hoping that Man United would extend his stay by triggering the 12 month extension in his, in his contract. But as it comes out now, Manchester United are not willing. Now this is again the renegotiations, the proper work being done. They are not willing to keep him, but for an extra 12 months because his current contract runs out at, in June, 30th of June. That is this uh, this summer this year but there is an option to trigger 12 months so united is saying we're not taking that option on the current terms 340,000 pounds a week we're not taking that we want to keep you but we need to cut your wages now varen might be thinking you know but for me whether he wants that or not the best thing actually for united for me is to cash in on on varen right now because if united said varen is up on sale now european clubs would be jostling for his signature and would make money because the reality is we need to let go for it. He's earning too much money. He's a big player, but he's not consistent. His injuries are not going to stop. 
let's face it, they are not going to stop. So you keep costing us. And then him being in and out of the squad disorganizes whatever the manager is doing. I'm relying on you that, okay, you're my big center back with Martinez, but after one game, you're sick. So I have to go back now to brief to either Maguire. So I think such a player causes confusion in, in the long run. So for me, the best thing for United is to sell, to boldly come out and say, we are selling Rafael Varane. That's the third player that I expect Sajim Rashford to be looking into. Now, number two uh, is obviously, and I'm focusing on the players who are there. Don't tell me about Jadon Sancho because that one's fate probably was already done and that's it. But the number two player that we will be looking into is Anthony Marshall. For Anthony, I think uh, that was done. The decision was made. And I feel like Anthony should be the first players that Sajim Ratcliffe deals with because we need to let go of Anthony to make way for a backup striker, a serious backup striker for Rasmus Hoyland because with Anthony there, we, we, Anthony Marshall that is, we always keep pretending and thinking we have a backup for Hoyland, yet we actually don't. He's way, way, his best is way behind. His levels are way below Man United and it's not going to change. His contract that he renewed in 2019 runs out uh, also this June. For me, that one, we should actually let go in Jan and we bring in Sahu Kirase immediately. That's, a, that's an immediate, that's urgent. It's a matter of urgency, uh, the, the, the Anthony Marshall situation. So for me, that's the other very important player that I expect Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his team to be looking into this January as we are, of course, going into the summer. Now, some of these players, like I said, might not go now uh, but some of them, like Marshall, should be immediate. The other player, and uh, maybe there could be honorary mentions to some other few. Uh, before, under you know, past circumstances, even Casemiro would have been on this list. But seeing how United is now, it's difficult to lose Casemiro. Uh, you can sacrifice Varane, but Casemiro, it's a very difficult thing to say. I think we can discuss Casemiro after the season has ended. And we see proper, make proper assessments with Sajim Radcliffe. But... He was also not doing so well for himself. But the final person that Man United will be discussing is Sofian Amrabat. Sofian Amrabat has come in with a lot of expectations. We paid 10 million pounds for him to come on loan with the condition of buying him at the end of the loan of one season. But the reality is that Sofian Amrabat has failed to cement himself as a Man United player. He has failed to earn the right to be a Man United player. He has tried, but I think the levels, I believe he came with an injury, first of all. Probably we did not give that much attention. His levels are way below, below, below Manchester United. He's not consistent. He's not, he's not world class. He's not, he's not. That's the reality. And he's not going to turn out to be overnight. So I think uh, Sajim Ratcliffe will be thinking we are ending this loan spell for Sofian Amrabat. Or we are taking him back at the end of it. Because for me, that is, that is it. He can stay until the end of the season, but Amrabat is not staying permanently. I think he has failed to establish himself. That's what I think. Those are the five players I feel Sajim Ratcliffe should be assessing in our current squad. My name is Webb. Subscribe to the United Hotspot. And of course, become a member. Thank you.